Hey guys, so I thought I would do a video showing kind of how I plan for my month for my budget. Um, so I have a planner. This is one of those happy planners you can got, buy at Walmart, Michaels. I think Target sells them now. Um, I love these planners. This is my second year having one. They're kind of like the Aaron, the Aaron Condren planners, except not $60. Um, so I'm kind of looking at my September month, um, just because I was in here putting some stickers in for the upcoming week. And I decided I better start looking kind of at next month's budget. So kind of my rhyme or reason for this, um, I put all my bills that come out in blue. Purple is the pay days, and then um, special things are pink. So I was actually filling in my stuff for this month, and I'm like, huh, I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, and then I realized we did pay off um, my old Malibu loan and Chevy from when I had a rental from them. So I can't wait to have less credit card bills to put in here. Um, it will be really nice. Oh, I did forget. I forgot one. Um, my Equinox comes out this day too. I better put that in here. So I generally try to plan everything that I'm responsible for based on my payday. So I get paid usually on the 15th or on the 30th, but like this month, the 15th is on a Sunday, so I'll get paid on the 13th and then I'll get paid here on the 30th as well. My husband, who works two jobs, he gets paid. Um, every other Friday from his full-time job, so right here and right here, and he also gets something called profit share once a month, which is basically, I don't know, he gets about $500, everybody in the company gets it. I think it's really cool that uh, he works at a company that does give profit share, um, and then he gets paid twice a week or twice monthly every other week um, from working at Pizza Hut where he works part-time. Um, he also gets tips. I don't account for that really. I really don't account um, for his money at all when I'm budgeting because I mainly just focus on paying my credit cards and I pay the car insurance and the cell phone, but it is very helpful to know when he does get paid that way. If I'm like, Hey, you know, I don't have enough to cover the cell phone bill this month. Can you help me out? He will do that. Um, I'm very fortunate that right now he does cover most of the rent and the groceries, um, oh, I don't have my utilities in here now that I'm thinking about bills um, because it kind of changes every month when they're due. So they're usually due the last two weeks. So I never really put them in. But when I'm making my budget, I always kind of account for them. Um, but I also don't pay my bills when they're due. I always get pay them when I get paid. So um, yeah, so the first of the month I feel like is always a big um, day rent comes out. We um, just have a transfer from his savings account to our landlord's um, business account. I have a personal loan that comes out, my gym membership, and a student loan. On the third, I usually have two credit cards due, um, Alta and Firestone, and then Maurice's Capital One got switched, so now it's due on the seventh instead of at the end of the month. Um, our cell phone gets due on the 10th. David's bridal is due on the 13th. Usually I pay that out of my um, first half of the month paycheck, which I usually count the 30th as the start of my month. Um, but this month I think I will have it taken out of the second paycheck just because I'll be paid the day it's due. My AE visa comes out. The car insurance, I actually had moved that. I have, it was being due on the 4th, but um, I just, it was too much, <laughs> I was spending too much money for my first half of the month and not having enough, so I decided just to switch it to the second half, um, and it makes things not as tight. Care credit, Fed loans, and the first half of my Equinox payment comes out on the 16th, um, and then nothing is due until the 21st um, when I have to pay Discover. Another big exciting thing here is on the 21st, my little brother is getting married and one of my stepdaughters is going to be a flower girl. The other one did not want to be because I have two stepdaughters. One wanted to be a flower girl, the other one did not. Um, so we will have to um, take into account that we have to buy a flower girl dress for her. Um, then nothing really gets paid until the 27th or is due technically PayPal. 
Uh, we have subscriptions that come out of there, so I just put $27 in every month. Um, Iowa Student Loan, American Express is due, and then on the 30th, this will technically start my new month, um, and then the Equinox comes out for the second payment. So that is kind of my calendar layout, and then I come into my special little notebook here. This is my budget notebook. <laughs> Um, and then I come in and I just kind of split my bills by paycheck. So um, I've started September. Um, this is what will come out the first half of September. And then this will come out the second half of September. And this is just really what has helped me focus on splitting my paychecks up, paying what needs to be paid. When I was in college, I was paid once a month, and now I'm paid twice a month, and it was really hard to wrap my brain around, so I did just have to go splitting my month in half, and it has helped me so much. Um, and then, like I said, I just factor in my income. I don't really put my husband's in there at all. Um, if we were, if we had a bank account together, I'm sure we would just do that, and then we would put all the bills he pays in as well. We'll get there, but I'm in no hurry. Um, sometimes I will take out cash, um, for cash envelopes this month. I'm trying to do that with my gas and my grocery budget. Um, so hopefully that kind of helps me. If you guys have any questions, um, or comments, please leave them in a comment below. I hope this kind of helped you understand the method to my madness. If you guys budget kind of the similar way I do, um, please let me know how it goes for you. If you use every dollar, if you budget by monthly or budget monthly, great for you, kudos to you. I just can't wrap my mind around it. It's like I tell my students, everybody's brain works differently. We all don't do things the same way. So this is what works for me. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.